With the purchase of this property came an aerial photograph. And in this photograph, you see the lay of the land. And interesting is that you see kind of what is central and what is uh, really moving this whole property. It happens to be this barn. Looking at things from above gives you a very, very different vantage point. And we're in Numbers 2 today. And Numbers 2 may not seem this way, but this is really Numbers 2 right here. You're reading about all of these tribes, and there's 12 tribes, really 13, but um, you see that um, they're laid out around the tabernacle. Now, how this works is you begin to see on the east side here, you begin to see Judah down here. And the tribes that are associated with Judah come to 186 thousand then we move around and we have Reuben and the tribes associated with Reuben have 150 then Ephraim 108 and then Dan those tribes associated with them 150 so from up above what you're seeing is a cross and in fact one individual pointed out that as we get to the end of the book of Numbers you've got Balaam up on the mountain and when he's looking down on Israel and he's trying to curse Israel what he's seen is this cross and that is so interesting the scriptures are very clear as cursed is everyone that hangeth on a cross and Jesus Christ became cursed for us and he took our place on the cross even Balaam and God kept Balaam really from uh, injuring himself and the Lord keeps us from injuring ourselves as well. In Psalms 47, and it's also this idea is echoed in Hebrews 10, 7, is the volume of the book is written of me. It has been said over and over that you can see Jesus through the pages of the Bible from the beginning to the end. And this is a scripture here that... Uh, in the Old Testament and the New Testament that says, when you look at the Word of God, it is written of me. Now, obviously, when we look at this, we're trying to see, how does this apply to our lives? You ever ask yourself, what's, what's the aerial view of my life? If, if we were to be seen from above, what would it look like? Because when you're looking at kind of the tribes and if you're down in there you're not really seeing this you know you're seeing a lot of people a lot of tents it may seem somewhat chaotic and as we look at our life this way it can seem somewhat chaotic but what does it look like from above what does that look like is my life really aligning with what God has laid out for me because if I'm saved by the blood of Jesus, then that blood covers me. And he looks at me very, very different. What if I were to live my life from here forward in a way that was honoring and pleasing to God? Forty years they marched through the wilderness. And this was the symbol that they carried with them. What if they would have really known what if they would have really understood? What if they would have really embraced it? We have that opportunity today. Thank you so much for tuning in. May God bless you.